Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and you are watching Cassandra series. In this video, I am going to cover the collections. What is collection? SQL provides the facility of using collection data type. Using this collection type, you can store multiple values in a single variable. If you know a little bit about the Python, the collection is same like a list, dictionary and sets. So here we are going to use set list and map. Map is a dictionary here. First of all, let's see what is set. A set consists of a group of element with unique values. Duplicate values will not be stored. The values of a set are stored unordered. Simple. So two things, unordered and unique values. Use a set data type to store data that has many to one relationship with another column. Okay, so now I'm going to create an example because this is very enough theory. Let's create an example of set. This is the Cassandra shell. Now I'm going to create a table. create table teams id i can take uuid time uid and team name t team name text format and team member so I'm just increasing the size zoom in again zoom in team members in the text format uh, some problem here text text okay Sting member, team members, exactly one required message invalid query. Uh, create table, teams, ID, time. Okay, it's uh, this should be yes. It time UID is okay. And team name text, team member text. No, okay, primary key. So I'm writing here primary key. And here I'm using set. This is set, no text. And this type of text. So I want to store the text format in the set. Let's see. Select star from DEM teams. Nothing. Okay, nothing in this one. Let's insert some values. Insert into teams first of all uh, id then team name then team members values here i'm using now for this id because this is a type of time uid that's why i'm using now and then I'm taking a team like a CSK or any IPL team. I'm using CSK here because I know one player. That is the MST. And one is the Ravinder Jadeja. One is the Shane Watson. So I'm writing Shane Watson. S Watson. So this is the set. One variable CSK. Okay, one variable uh, T members holding the multiple values. So let's execute this one. Yes, working fine. I am creating one more team. Uh, let's say uh, RCB. In the capitals RCB. One person I know very well. Let's call it. Virat Kohli, VK, ABD Villiers, 
A, B, D. Only two plates I'm writing here. Rest everything same. Select star from teams. So here you can see order doesn't matter because uh, here you can see order doesn't matter because I have inserted V and then A B D. Here you may not get the same order. The order in which you have inserted you may not get the same order. May or may not. Now let's create one more record. I am creating uh, CSK1 and here I am repeating the MSD again. MSD again. Now you can see MSD only one time appears only one time because it stores the unique values unique and automatically remove the un duplicate values simple so that's a set consider I want to update the set I want to update I want to add one more value one more team member in the RCB okay like Chris Morris so I can write here update teams set team members equal to team members members mem members team member equal to team member plus one more set you can give multiple values you can give single values totally your wish I am giving just only one name or you can also give the comma and second name consider ABC any name I am assuming okay in this way you can add so ex in the existing team I am adding one two players more in the form of set because this is a type of set and I can only add this set here okay where ID equal to oh, sorry not in this one where outside id equal to uh, this one so we know the id let's copy paste and put okay not in the quotes done so now you can see abd chris morris vk and xyz in the rcb team in this way you can update this set Now let's see the list. List is used in the cases where the order of the element is to be maintained, where you need the order. Where, there you can use list. And a value is to be stored multiple times. Means consider you want to store duplicate values, you can use list. So two things, order maintained and duplicate values. You can get the values of a list data type using the index of a element in the list we can use we can also use the index let's see how to use list in cassandra cls create table data to name text primary key and phone so name is a person name and their phone is a type of list in the text format you can also use int format so I'm using int format because phone number in the generally we use int integer for phone numbers done so now let's insert some values insert into data one name and phone values uh, name is uh, consider I am writing uh, ABC is a person who is having phone number 10 I am just writing 10 20 and again 10 multiple ok error message and configure data ok it's data 2 sorry done 
so one more thing one more xyz Sixty, eighty, ninety. Select star from data. Two. So ABC has two numbers. You can see duplicate, and you can see here multiple values. Right. The list can also be updated by the similar way as we have done in the set, like update. Data to set set phone equal to phone plus ninety where name equal to ABC done. So you can see extra ninety has been added here simple now let's see how to use the map so map uses the key value pair structure key value pair the following example shows how to create a table with two column name address for storing the multiple address values so for that we use map consider we i'm going to take the same example of four numbers here I'm using data 3 so I'm taking the same example data 3 name text primary key phone in the form of set sorry uh, map both are in the text format I'm using the text comma and text because here I'm going to store two values let's see the use of this one map working fine insert into data 3 name and name and phone values Uh, name I'm writing ABC simple name and here interesting thing is phone number so here I'm writing office phone number office phone number is 8090 uh, home phone number 80 and mobile number okay I'm not writing mobile just in this one okay and then okay some error let's see what is the error here okay text format we could both are the text so use the text format here select star from data 3 so this is the name and this is the map so I can easily say okay what is a home that's 80 what is the office that's 90 simple okay now if you want to update update data 3 set phone equal to phone plus like mobile number equal to 70 where name equal to a b c done and let's see the value done i hope you get the sense of map set and list now let's see a few points okay never insert more than two billions two billions actually this billions item two billion items in a collection as only the that number can be queried the maximum number of keys of our map collection is this one six five five three five okay this kind of key you can use for one collection maximum size of an item in a list 2 GB 
maximum size of an item in a set is this one okay keep collection small to prevent the delay during the query collections cannot be sliced cassandra reads a collection in its entirely impacting performance right if you slice impacting performance this collection should be much smaller than maximum limit listed the collection is not paged internally so this is like a virtual memory concept list can incur a read before write operation for some insertion set sets are preferred over the list where whenever possible right so these are the few points we need to remember while using the list set and map so thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video bye bye